Hey guys, Shout the Rat, and for today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and celebrate these three girls passing a year and a half. Uh, if you have rats, you'll know that a year and a half is kind of the point where rats start being considered uh, older. Um, unfortunately, they're just pretty short-lived, so once they get to that stage, that's kind of when you start seeing more health issues becoming more common. Um, not super common. Uh, typically my rats reach a little over two before I see a lot of health issues. But even so, once they reach a year and a half, I kind of start celebrating every six months uh, just because that is kind of when they're starting to get older. Anyways, um, moving on to more happy things. Uh, these girls here uh, are three of my rats, Raisin, Popcorn, and Tofu. And I call them the Napoleon. Oh my god, am I saying that right? Napoleon? Napolitan? Napoleon? Okay, I apparently don't know how to say that word, but I call them the Napoleon Trio uh, just because of their colors. Um, I did not have strawberry ice cream, so I put mango ice cream out instead, uh, but kind of the typical ice cream there is like chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, and I kind of called these girls chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, so you can kind of see how that lines up. Uh, anyways, these girls here have been with me since they were like... I think nine weeks old. Yeah, nine weeks. I got them from a breeder at the beginning of last June, uh, which was in 2023. And yeah, they've been just uh, really great rats. Uh, you will notice that Tofu and Raisin look a little scratched up right now because I'm actually doing intros um, with some younger rats. Typically, they don't get very scratched up, which is something I was actually kind of worried about when I got them. Um, but I find that as long as the group is kind of like stable, which it usually is, then they don't get scratched up uh, probably just because no one really fights all that hard uh, once they're actually bonded. But yeah, these girls have been really great rats. Um, they're just uh, all very sweet. Uh, tofu and popcorn are definitely the more independent of the three. They're still totally fine with people and they don't mind handling and so forth, um, but they're definitely more independent rats. Uh, Raisin, on the other hand, is the smooshy girl. She is very into people and she loves being handled and she's just a really sweet rat. Uh, all three of them are very sweet, but Raisin's definitely the most attention-seeking of the three. Um, they haven't had any health issues or anything else, uh, which I'm pretty happy about, although I wouldn't expect anything at under a year and a half. Um, now that they've hit that mile marker, uh, things do become a little more common, but I'm hoping that they reach at least two before any health issues pop up, um, because that has been my experience with most of my rats. Uh, I have occasionally had a few rats who developed health issues a little earlier, typically around a year and a half to two years, if they develop them earlier, which is usually not the case. Um, but in the case that they did develop them, that's usually the age range when it starts. Um, but for most of my rats, they reach around to like 26 months before health issues pop up. Uh, so I'm really hoping that these girls are just as lucky, especially because they are from a breeder. Uh, and one of the whole reasons that I go to a breeder uh, is because I want rats who are resistant to a lot of the more common health issues, or at least don't develop them until old age. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to say about these girls. Uh, clearly, they are not interested in my ice cream offerings. I mean, even Raisin is literally just licking the yogurt. What the heck is going on here? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, just talk about them a little bit, uh, even if they are not feeling very cooperative. Hello, Miss Popcorn. What are you doing? She said, no, no, don't show me on camera. Don't show me on camera. She always looks so surprised. Tofu, Tofu, would you like to show your little face? No, no, put me down. No. <laughs> I like to give them little voices and because tofu and popcorn are so independent, I always imagine them thinking, please let me go or please put me down. Please, please. Actually, in this case, tofu wants to go back to the cage. You can tell because she's standing on my hand. Uh, it is the end of free range. So she wants to go back to the cage and take a nap because she really likes to sleep there. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to uh, show these girls off a little bit and kind of talk about them some. That is uh, pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see them and their uh, interesting views on ice cream, which is to say, uh, not very into it. Um, but uh, yeah, these girls are just really great rats and, you know, I've had a really good experience with them. And, uh, and it's also been a really great first experience with hairless rats and werewolves because I was a little worried about health issues when I first got them. Um, I did do my research and this breeder is really great. Uh, and I know that they aren't inherently linked with any health issues, but there are some lines uh, with these fur types. Well, lack of fur in Tofu's case uh, that can have some certain issues like eye issues uh, or skin issues. So I'm very glad that I haven't experienced any of that. And it definitely makes me glad that I went to a breeder uh, for my first uh, experience with these sorts of varieties. But yeah, other than that, uh, I'm very glad that these girls have reached this age and are continuing to do well. And I hope they will be around for a while yet. So 
you know, here's to uh, more good health and uh, more happy living. Oh, let me hold Raisin up to the screen, too. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, my God. Look at her. She's freaking adorable, even if the camera won't focus on her. There we go. She's so cute. Look at her. Oh, she's trying to unsquish. <laughs> she's such a sweet rat. Yeah. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Bye.